Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian here. What we're going to do today is just give you a really quick sneak peek at this new universal self-feeding sluice box attachment from Lost River Mining Products, which was made from one of my inventions. All right, so let me just bring it up close for you. Take a look at it here, turn it around. Really nice heavy duty design. It's got snaps right here to hold the upper bin on there. The bins are all interchangeable for sizes. This is the bucket and a half size. We have a half bucket and full bucket size, as well as the five and 10 bucket bins that'll be later on that are self-supporting that attach to the lower here. Um, right here's the handle that you use to open and shut the feed door. So there you go, that's your feed door down below. And if we give you a look down inside, you can see all the angles inside of there down to the feed area. Back here in the back is where the water is going to enter into the system right here. And you make sure the water's got the right pressure so the system works. It's got these two hinged out pieces here. I'll show you how these attach here in a moment to the flare of your sluice box, making a nice lock in the back end there. What these do is they sit right against the flare, make sure the water's got to build up to go over them. When that happens, it puts enough pressure down the tube here to make sure the self-feeding system works properly. They also have little pieces of this super Velcro on the ends here and there, so you can shut them down and they'll stay shut. Just push them down against it and there they are. Nice sleek design. I like the way they did it. Let me go ahead now put this onto the sluice box and show you what it looks like. So we've made this so it's basically universal for the predominant sizes of sluice boxes that we see out on the market. And one way we made it basically kind of a universal design is by making sure that the end leaves will fit well over the end of your flare here. And I'm going to show you how to put that on. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start the process. First of all, you're going to flip out your little arms down here. Just like that, you're going to bring them into kind of a V design. You're going to bring that right up to the front of the sluice box. Make sure you get your center alignment right there. And then back here in the back, which I'll show you from a different angle, you're just going to close these V's down up underneath the lip of the flare, just like this. There they are. So now that i got these V flares snapped down, let me show you what it does. It connects the feed bin to the sluice box, as you can tell here. Makes a nice solid connection to the sluice box. Make sure the thing can't fall over. This front bar here sits down on the top edges of it and make sure that there's no sway or lean to it once it's full of dirt. So let me go ahead and set this camera up a little bit different so you can see the process of installing that. All right, so here's a close up look of how these back little flares work. And you can see here what you do is you bring it up to the lip of the back of the flare of your sluice box. And the bottom piece of this angle stock is going to go underneath your flare just like this. And it's gonna snap on there as you can see just like that the other one's on the same way and that gives us a nice solid connection between the self-feeding bin here and the sluice box and you can see that it overhangs this flare design right here it gives you plenty of room to go to much larger flares or even smaller flares so here's a back look at it you can see how our water dams work there the flip out water dams make sure the water pressure has to build up over them before entering the sluice box which gives us higher pressure down here through our opening into the self-feeding bin real quickly take a look inside here you can see the nice slopes in there guarantee that the material feeds really smoothly down towards the grab area down in here this is where the material actually gets grabbed by the water flow to interchange the bin sizes all we have are these snap down latches so you undo your latch on either side and then you can pull the upper away from the lower here there you go so you could use the self feeder just like this. So you can pour material in here and feed it like this, or you can add one of our bin sizes to the upper part of this. Here you see the opening down there where the water is gonna enter into the feed. You can see the slight ramp that's happening. It's pinching down the one inch space down to a half inch down here, increasing the velocity of the water that's entering in, making sure it cleans out really well. Here's a quick look at the handle and the design they have here for the feed door, which is down there. You just pull up on it, it opens up the feed door. Gives you just the right amount of feed. And if you want to adjust the rate of feed, you can shut it down a little bit. Well, there you go, folks. That was a quick look at the new universal self-feeding sluice box attachment from Lost River Mining Products.